Hi, I'm Alexey Ivano, Worldwide Security and Identity Partner Solutions Architect with Amazon Verified Permissions. Today, I'll be demonstrating a new feature that makes it simple for you to use any OpenID Connect identity providers and Amazon Verified Permissions to authenticate and authorize user access to any APIs hosted on Amazon API Gateway. Amazon Verified Permission Service enables you to implement permissions management and authorization within the applications that you build. It's authorization as a service. Instead of building your own application-specific authorization system, you can add granular permissions into your application. Your application, or a logical enforcement point, like Amazon API Gateway, can call Amazon Verified Permissions to determine if a user can access to a resource. Verified permissions can check a user's access rights based on the policies in its policy store. For example, in a banking application, the application would call Amazon Verified permissions every time when the user withdraws money to ensure that the user is authorized to take that action. Let's have a look at the end-to-end -end architecture flow to understand how verified permissions operates at runtime. For example, serverless is a common pattern. In this diagram, we deploy an application using any OpenID Connect provider as the identity provider. A user logs in locally or via federation, and the identity provider generates custom tokens. As you can see, the token can contain different claims including a group representing the user's role. With access or identity token, the user can request application endpoints. The browser or application sends the token to the API Gateway. API Gateway serves as a policy enforcement point. It stops the request and executes a custom Lambda authorizer. The authorizer performs the is authorized with token call to verified permissions for a policy decision. Amazon verified permissions responds with an allow or deny decision. In this instance, the decision was allowed, so the request proceeds to the back end API. Verified permissions launched quick start, a step by step wizard to walk you through the setup process and automatically apply verified permissions policies to your API Gateway resources. We enable role-based or group-based access out of the box. This covers the authorization pattern that most builders start with. Quick Start will auto-generate all of the components you need to have an end-to-end -end working solution. A quick start wizard will guide you through the step-by-step -step configuration process. We are going to review this process later in the video. When creating a new policy store in Amazon Verified Permissions, you can choose an external OpenID Connect provider option and provide its details to Amazon Verified Permissions. You select what API and stage you want to protect with authorization. Amazon Verified Permissions pulls all the required API Gateway configuration and points and actions automatically. Using Graphic User Interface, you manually define actions allowed for each user group. Verified Permissions create a policy store containing policies and schema and a Lambda function that authorizes requests. Finally, Amazon Verified Permissions automatically assigns the new Lambda function as an authorizer to the API resources that you need to protect. The Lambda function generates and enforces verified permissions authorization requests. Let's see how to use Amazon Verified Permissions with an OpenID Connect identity provider to protect an Amazon API Gateway API. You need to pre-configure the OIDC identity provider of your choice. We are using Keyclock in this example. Create users. For this example, I created two users, Alice and Bob. Create groups and assign users to the groups. In this example, Alice is in the admin group and supposed to have full access to the API. Bob 
is in the user group and supposed to have only read access to the API. The OpenID configuration allows you to discover all the required values needed to interact with the OpenID Connect provider. Create an Amazon API Gateway API that you want to protect. We are using the Pet Store API that is available as an example in the Amazon API Gateway console. Deploy a new stage of the API that you want to protect. We are using the prod stage in this example. Just to reiterate on the use case, our API has get and post methods. I want to secure this API based on the user's group membership. Admin users should have full access to the API, while users belonging to the user group should only have read access. I'm going to use Amazon Verified Permissions to achieve this. Navigate to the Amazon Verified Permissions Management Console. Click Create Policy Store in the top right. Choose Setup with API Gateway and an Identity Provider and click Next. Choose the API that you want to import actions and resources from. In this case, select the Pet Store API. Choose the deployment stage that you want to import actions and resources from, and in this case, we select the prod stage. Finally, click Import API. You will see the map of imported resources and actions. Click Next. Choose External OpenID Connect Provider option and configure the OIDC provider details. We need the issuer URL. The issuer URL could be found in the well-known OpenID Connect Provider configuration endpoint. Token type. Select the token that you are passing to Amazon API Gateway in the authorization header. We also need to define the token claims that map to user and group entities in the policy store schema. Verified permissions uses token claims to map to policies in an is authorized with token call. Let's check the content of the token. Let's authenticate as Alice, copy the identity token, and use an online tool in order to check the claims in this token. As you can see, the token has a subclaim that identifies the user. The group claim contains the groups that the user belongs to. We are using the groups claim to define the actions allowed for each group. As you see, the groups have slashes in the beginning. Your identity provider may return the groups in a different format. The audience validation is optional. You can configure it if you want to validate the audience in the token. You should be validating the audience of the token to make sure that the token is intended for your application. Never leave the audience validation unchecked in a production environment. Since this is a demo, we are skipping this step. It's time to define actions allowed for each group. We have two groups, admin and user. We are allowing all actions for the admin group and only get actions for the user group. Verified permissions creates a policy store and allow the function that authorizes requests. We need to assign the new Lambda function as an authorizer to the API that we need to protect. The function generates and enforces verified permissions authorization requests. We are choosing now to make Amazon verified permissions to attach the authorizer to the API immediately. Click Create Policy Store. The resources are deployed using AWS CloudFormation. You can see the status of the deployment in the CloudFormation console. Once the deployment is complete, let's check what was created for us. Navigate to the Amazon Verified Permissions console. You can see that a policy store is created. It has two policies, one for the admin group and one for the user group. Each policy defines the principal user group and the actions allowed. You can also see what, that a policy schema is created. It defines the relationship between entities such as principles, actions, and resources. Let's check the Amazon API Gateway resources and make sure that a Lambda authorizer is attached to the API that we want to protect. As you can see, the authorizer is attached to every method of the API but options.
Let's test our configuration. Let's get the API Gateway URL of the Pet Store API. Navigate to the Amazon API Gateway console and check the stages. Copy the invoke URL of the prod stage. Open Postman. Let's configure the authorization for the request. Navigate to the authorization tab and select the OAuth 2.0 type. As you can see, the authorization data will be passed in the authorization header of the HTTP request. The bearer header prefix is added automatically by Postman before the actual value of the token. Choose the token name of your choice. Let's complete the configuration. The grant type is authorization code. The OAuth URL is the authorization endpoint of the OpenID Connect provider. The access token URL is a token endpoint of the OpenID Connect provider. The client ID and client secret are the client credentials that you created in the OpenID Connect provider. The scope is the scope that you want to request. The callback URL is the URL that the OpenID Connect provider will redirect to after the user authenticates. We are using the Postman callback URL. Click Get New Access Token. Postman will open a new window to authenticate with the OpenID Connect provider. Enter the username and password of the user that you want to authenticate as. Postman will redirect you to the Postman callback URL with the authorization code. Postman will exchange the authorization code for the token. You can see the token in the Postman environment. Let's authenticate as Alice. Send get pets request to the API. You should get a 200 OK response with a list of pets. Send a post pets request to the API. You should get a 200 OK response with a new pet because Alice is an admin user and allowed to perform any actions in the application. Now let's authenticate as Bob. Send a get pets request to the API. You should get a 200 OK response with a list of pets because Bob belongs to a user group and user group is allowed to perform get requests. Now send a post pets request to the API. You will see that the request was forbidden because Bob is not allowed to create new pets. With the announcement of Quick Start for OpenID Connect, we want to give a quick highlight to our partners. This allows you to bring your own identity to AWS and leave the last mile of authorization integration to us. This feature works with standard OpenID Connect identity providers and we are excited to announce that three of the top identity providers, CyberArk, Okta, and Transmit Security, have partnered with us for launch and highlighted how their identity provider works with this feature. You can find more information about Amazon Verified Permissions by following these links. Thank you.